Can you believe me? Daddy. You walked right into it. <laughs> I literally didn't move. Good morning, clan. Welcome to Monday, another week. It's, uh, it looks like it's been raining all night. Uh, if you watched yesterday's vlog, that's how I ended the vlog was, hey, it was raining, it's raining all night. Well, here we are seven hours later and uh, it's still like sprinkling and raining. There's driplets coming off of the, uh, the rooftops. It's, it's, it's humid now, I feel like humidity now. The watch says it's 60 degrees in El Mirage. I think it's probably cooler than that, but that's just me. And the kids are off to school. Tiffany's in the pantry, cooking for breakfast. Mini, 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 oh, it's a Monday, which means Tiffany doesn't drink coffee. It's a no, no coffee Monday because she's gonna go back to bed. Uh, this side of the day? Uh, yeah, well, uh, I don't know. So we made our way to Big Five Sporting Goods because uh, Bryce is in need of some knee pads. You saw yesterday, oh no, actually you didn't see it, which wasn't in the vlog. But basically, uh, Bryce has a really bad scratch on his knee from NASCAR and he's trip, he's come down now twice on it and like broke the scab and it started bleeding. Um, and so we're gonna get him some knee pads. We'll put a bandage on it while it heals, but he's gonna get some knee pads to help him hopefully um, avoid more boo-boos. So here's their volleyball section, but apparently this is all they have. And this is really the only thing that's kind of close to what the kids are wearing for basketball knee pads. And I know there's a different style, but it doesn't look like they have them. I think it's just all volleyball stuff. Oh, all right, guys, go. help us out. <laughs> Something like that, maybe? Yeah, it goes like up your, up the thigh and then down the shin. Yeah, and oh, then there's like seat. a knee pad belt Yeah, there. that's totally it. Well, while they're fiddly faddling around with the uh, knee pads and trying to figure out what they're gonna do. I'm gonna go look at scooters because that's something fun and something that I'm scooters. into. <laughs> scooters. <laughs> scooters. Yeah, Big Five has some scooters. I see a Razor scooter. I don't know, like, they're a good selection. That bike shop we went to, they had a good selection. Well, that's what they got. I only see one that looks kind of like the new, like, industrial style, but it's a Razor. I don't know if they say it's a good one or not. We'll go back to the bike shop. Those are the good ones. A lot of you guys are asking, you know, wait, when are you gonna get a scooter? When are you gonna get a scooter? It's like, I don't know, just whenever I get around to it. It's not like a priority for me. I want a scooter. Yeah, I know you do. We'll, we'll share one though. You, yeah. you use my old one now, anyways. No. You do, I'm saying. Oh, you it's use not my old one now. Oh, it's not like I'm gonna ride it. It's not like I'm gonna ride it every day. Well, since we're here, I guess Sierra can get a new pair though, right? She's Got holes in her. I got holes. <laughs> well, when you were in you like you were diving like crazy. I just want to try them on. Siding on the same ones that she already has, or trying. Well, if you like the if you like the ones you have now, you just stick with those. Does it matter what leg they go on? No, no. they're universal. I like these ones. I'm just gonna put them. Do you? I want to try it on. These are the ones I have right now. Nike. These are the ones I have right now. The Nike ones. Yeah. I see these Asics ones. I like them. Wait, like that? Right there? Yeah, you just want basically that pad to be on your kneecap. Can I just fall on that knee? If you want to. I think I'd be a pencil. Alright, dinner time. And we have a Panera Bread now in surprise. It used to be called, it used to be Paradise Bakery. But Panera Bread's Bakery, or Panera Bread bought Paradise Bakery. And they've been renovating all their stores. And so now we have a Panera Bread. Super excited. It's basically Paradise Bakery, but better. Oh wow, big. They changed it. A lot more seating. Oh yeah. It smells new, huh? Yep, daddy, you're right. Told you. Look at that. You order your food off a kiosk, little iPad. Ooh, tap to order. Do it. Do it. Do we order and see what's up though? Yeah. OMG, you guys, check this out. I got a steak and arugula sandwich. I got the uh, chicken arugula something salad. I didn't realize there was grapes on there. That kind of turns me off, but okay. Uh, we got mac and cheese and grilled cheese over here. We got a Chipotle chicken salad over here with some kind of sandwich that she already inhaled. No, I, I <laughs> oh, oh, Bryce said, oh, I thought she literally just I'm, inhaled it. I'm taking a bite of it. Taking a bite of it. And Bryce ordered a, a cheddar broccoli soup with a bread bowl, but they're out of bread bowls. <laughs> but I gave him my roll. I gave him my sourdough bread. So you're good, dude. You're good. What'd you got there? A soup sandwich. A soup sandwich. He carved out his uh, baguette and filled up with the cheese, the cheese soup. Nice, dude. All right. So uh, what we're gonna do today is we're all gonna go to Sierra's practice because I've not, I've yet to seen them practice other than just what's in the videos. Um, we're gonna hang out in Sierra's practice for about 30 minutes or so, and then I'm gonna take Bryce to his basketball practice, and then Bryce's practice is done for Sierra's, right? Yes. And you guys. Will and then I'll come back, watch the last half hour, and pick up the girls. And I'll be there too. And Bryce will be there too. Hi. All right, got to watch uh, Sears practice for, I don't know, about 20 minutes or so. And now it's time for Bryce. 
and basketball. I see some like corn dog with bread. With the bulldog. <laughs> I don't. They, they haven't cleaned the cafeteria yet. There's still food on the ground. <laughs> yeah, I see a couple corn dog breads. Someone's like, I just want the hot dog. <laughs> Don't get cocky. Don't get cocky. Oh, when you're that good, you can't help it. Oh, oh I did it again. He did it again. <laughs> he did it again. <laughs> oh. Reaper. He's gonna get mad now. He's, he's fuming. Battle. Kick. Oh. Alright, back from practice. Snack time. Kids are grabbing some yogurts. Greek yogurt. Greek yogurt. Mm hmm. Bryce, that's not how you open that, dude. I don't care. I a little, bit, little bit of dessert, a little bit of healthy. Healthy dessert. Healthy dessert. Is that, is that what you said? Just burned off all their soup. I know. Bryce, you're all red, dude. What happened right there? Your cheese. I have no idea. So a lot of you guys are, have been asking since the vlog that we talked about, you know, are we ready to buy a house? And of course the question, the answer is yes, we are, we are ready. We got the paperwork in, we got the financing in, we know what we approved for. Um, and we've been getting listings from our realtor. Uh, Tiffany's actually looking at, been looking at him tonight. That's what she was doing during uh, Sierra's practice a little bit. And she found, you know, it's, it's, it's like a three step process, right? So the first thing you do is you kind of say, okay, I want a house in this area. And then you say, I want these particulars in, in our house. And then we get sent listings, right? And we have to like weed through them. And first it's just looking at pictures and looking at like, oh yeah, 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 yeah okay. And we marked our favorites, right? And we take our favorites list and the realtor says, okay, we're gonna schedule some time to go to these houses. So we're in that like second phase of like, here's, here's some listings that meet your criteria and we're gonna kind of whittle and, and fine tune the criteria because we would, would prefer not to get a two story house. We would prefer a one level home with a giant yard, so many bedrooms and so many you know amenities inside the house. Two story. We don't want a two story house, but if right. everything else is perfect and it's a two story, I'm willing to compromise. I don't know about Tiffany, but we'll see. But yeah, we're looking at houses, guys. So 
soon, soon. A little snacky snack. I uh, got some tortilla crusted tilapia. These things are amazing. They're at Costco. A little lime, a little seasoning. Oh, you think you get the TV, huh? What are you, uh, what are you gonna watch? Supergirl. Supergirl. All right, I'll let you watch that one show. I only have one. I'll have another one tomorrow. So how many of you guys watch uh, the DC, uh, what is it, uh, CW? Yeah, the CW shows. Uh, Sierra's really into Supergirl and The Flash. She doesn't watch Arrow and she doesn't watch the other one. I watch Arrow a little bit, but I haven't watched the DC. I'm still on season one on Netflix. Oh, she's so watching, okay, she's catching up on Netflix and then yeah. you, she'll catch up, okay. So she'll eventually get there. But it started with The Flash, right? That was the first one? And Arrow then Supergirl? No, for you. Oh, for me? Yeah. Supergirl first, then The Flash. Sure. So I, I watched Supergirl and you're like, you should try Flash and Arrow. And I was like, okay, I'll try Flash. And then now I love it. I love her. <laughs> totally my girl. She, loving, she loves the supernatural, sci-fi, fantasy stuff. That is totally what I'm into. So I'm sitting here uh, reading comments on the last couple days of vlogs. And of course yesterday's vlog, you know, kind of a serious subject. The future of these daily vlogs and what's been on my mind. And you know, a lot of you guys were like, oh, don't Casey, don't, don't cop Casey Neistat. Just because Casey Neistat stopped doesn't mean you have stuff. It has nothing to do with Casey Neistat. It is simply something that was in my mind. I watched his vlog. It said something I've been talking about for months is where, where, where am I going? What are we, what am I doing? Anyways, long story short, as I said in yesterday's vlog, I'm not stopping the daily vlogs, at least not for another four months. When we get to April, when we hit that five year mark, depending on how I'm feeling at that moment will determine what I do moving forward. I think like every day, every job, there's good days, there's bad days, right? Some days I feel great. Some days I feel awesome. Some days I don't. And we have good days and we have bad days at work. The difference is you guys get to see my bad days. As always, thank you so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. Thumbs up if you liked it. More videos at the end slate, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Vlog on. Yo guys, Tucker Halford, Pennsylvania, US, vlog on.